We're going to be landing over here by the buy station. I definitely expect them to get their loot fast as... And again, even landing in, man, I want to kind of look around. Whenever I play, you guys are always going to watch me land and just scan the sky real quick. You might be able to beam some people out the sky. You might be able to get a lot of easy intel and maybe even an easy kill just by looking around. But we've looted this area. There's really no reason to be here anymore. I definitely expect us to jump down to the next one. Now, while he's getting the scav, ooh, sniper, while he's getting the scav, we don't need to send down there with him because the scav's going to pop up somewhere else. So I like the fact that we didn't do that. Well, fucking, um... Now look, snipers like this, dude, like it just doesn't make sense. Again, you're playing ranked. Your job right now is to get your loadie, get money, get all the things you need to play and survive till the end. And I promise you, this guy right here is he's not going to make top fucking 20. All right. So when Russ slid canceled, we kind of knew that he'd be a little bit more competent than maybe the sniper up there. So I would say good play on Russ, honestly, going pro and being patient, trying to get the 1v1. The problem is he didn't pull his trigger. Like it would have been a decent attempt. What I would have done if I was Russ is definitely still done the patient play, but there's guns right here. Just run back, slide to it, get it, and then go prone and try to get the kill. Running away could have been another option too, but we were so close to him, I, I, I doubt it. But to lay prone like that with a pistol, I don't know if you're gonna outshoot anybody. I right, so we have green shoot and I like the portable. And we have two players here. We have a guy that's above us. A ghosted enemy and another guy right there. Wow, just stacked on top of each other, crazy. Now, I'm not sure if he's on the same team. I'd imagine because it's trios, he probably is. Also, the fact that we killed him and the little UAV ping getting off, it's definitely his teammate. Where the fuck was he at, bro? Why is he not helping his squad? Dude, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're playing randoms. If your team's getting fought next to you and you're not helping them, you're just hiding like a bitch. You don't deserve to be playing this game. I'm sorry. Go play solos. I, I, I'm mean to be a complete dick. Stop fucking playing team-based games. You're gonna sit here and fucking beat off the whole time your team's getting rocked on. I hate that shit. If you don't plan to play with your squad, don't load up in squads. It's as simple as that. And you're definitely not ready for rank, bro. There should be like a, to play rank, there should be a requirement. You have to hit a certain amount of kills. You have to hit a certain amount of travel distance. Maybe teamwork, maybe no, I don't know. You gotta have something, dude. I feel bad for teams that we roll through like that who just have randoms that just fuck off and do whatever they want. I just I just wish SBMM and ranked was a lot more honed in. Not just for people you play against, but also for people in your squad. Like when you play with randoms and ranked, they should be your same fucking stats. They should be damn near your same stats. I do like the fact that Seaman Staines is in his I just realized what's his name. It's in his map a lot. All right, and look, we can play for position now. And again, SR is definitely what you want. But when you're in plat, you kind of want to blow through plat as fast as possible. Because even diamonds, the same way. Once you hit Krim, you got to start playing a lot smarter. Um, but right now, just get as much SR as possible. Lock in, get some kills. We're almost basically even. So, I mean, when I'm negative 15, negative 20, just full send shit. Start getting in fights. Get that SR up. And then we'll come in game. Then you can lock it in. Because I'd rather finish a game with a positive, like... I'd say 100 SR, then, then barely break even, play in the full match, if that makes sense. I think that's what they're doing now. I think they're just kind of locking in, trying to get top whatever. Top three. Maybe get lucky and win at the end. Enemy soldier incoming. SR? Uh, SR. SR are the points right up here. So like you need to, like right now he's negative 15. So to make these points go up, you got to get a higher position in the game or you need to, uh, right there, or you need to get kills. And the goal is to, is it the same guy? I think it's the same fucking dude. No, it's not. And the goal is to, again, we got five points for that kill. So now we have negative 10. Get as many kills as possible and get the best positioning possible. And again, early game, dude, I, I get you don't want to full send some crazy ass fights for sure. But like, I wouldn't just kind of sit where I'm at and wait for people to come to me. I would definitely kind of move from one compound to another, secure that area, and then do it all over again. It's definitely hard to be patient. Yeah, in game, I don't mind this style right, of gameplay at all, right dude. Here, you don't want to you don't want to chalk yourself trying to get too aggressive. But again, it's so early on right now, man. The circle's so damn big. Yeah. With only seven teams, like you can kind of move around. Now that we have a UE2, we can kind of exactly see where the fuck we want to go. Uh, and look, dude, we, we threw up a UAV. I wouldn't have really used it until we were ready to go. Honestly, and again, they might just stay here, but I would definitely hold that and use that intel if we did launch it to go push a fucking team. We are on UEV also. I got fucking. Friendly 
and again, also too, on top of that, I'm telling them that I would rather move to another compound, preferably here or honestly anywhere and just get kills and just get in fights. You don't have to play stupid. You don't have to split and go in super solo trio mode, but you want to play together, go to the next compound, take it over and just do the same thing. Kind of clear the area, bring, building up your SR. I am saying that and that's what I exactly do, but you can play slow like this and build up a lot of SR in game. In game, there should probably still be five or six teams up. So you could still get a decent amount of kills. But it's a risk. It's a risk. In game, you might die before you even get them fucking kills. Now that I'm positive, bro, I'm fucking, I'm getting aggressive. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you camming, bro? Yeah, I'm getting shot from mine, right? So look, right now, blue's in trouble. Green's on the ground floor too. I want to jump down and kind of help my squad out. There's not much we can do up here because of the enemy suppressing us from keep. Or whatever fuck that, that building there is called. Oh, I hate that. Got body blocked by his teammates, fat ass. Easy beams. Why does everyone keep going down here? What's this? Oh, oh, oh. Good getaway attempt by your boy, honestly. See if he holds the angle if he runs. There's the angle hold. And again, I get it, bro. I get holding the angle, but you got to have plates and a weapon to be able to hold that off. If you just got around the corner and one tap you, don't hold the angle. Just keep making a run for it, especially with that oh, distance that he had on us. Have we got enough money to buy another UAV anyway? Oh, we got someone down here. We got circle favor? Because, what? Because. And I mean, with this again, now we don't need to leave. We just basically gotta get key people, get some easy kills, get some taps, get some assist points. Ah! Something has got yeah, it's got under us. Oh shit! I respect. I would have done the same thing. I respect them trying to go up, go up for the peak. Good breakaway. Now the enemies need to be very careful too. They're trying to hold us, but look at their position. They're in a rough spot. They could take the tunnel under us. No matter what, though, we should be able to contest and hold this high ground. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six enemies on UAV. So we have two enemies on account of four. It's, it's 11 players left. And look, when you guys have a UAV in the air and they throw up a counter, shoot that fucking thing down. Shoot the counter down like That's a motherfucker, dude. Bad, don't let them waste. Even if it, even only like two or three more scans left, don't let them waste that shit. All right, again, easy holds. I'm not really sure why we ran back. I want to make sure these motherfuckers can't grab our level, dude. I would have definitely held these guys and put some pressure on them. Don't allow them to push up. See, they were behind the bridge. Now they've already crossed it. We could be in a bad spot. Again, look at the ping right here. He just disappeared, but he could still be alive. This dude's fucking dead. Where is he? I don't know there. But again, you know, we failed to gatekeep over here. We do have circle favor. We definitely need to hold this. I wouldn't even peek. I would keep looking at the zip in case someone takes it, but I wouldn't even peek down here or worry about that. I'd be more worried about killing these guys. And once we kill them, we can kind of look at the players up here too. And again, hopefully try to get, try to get to 100 SR, triple digits. Wish he had sim texts right now too. And look, throw knives are great, but for this style of gameplay, I don't really think they're necessary in the slightest. Nice, bro, nice. I was making his jump, fight. Drop off mask. I like the rotation, I like the timing on it. Now you just play the fucking circle and again, try to get keep these fuckers. Top 390, we should be able to break 100. We definitely will break 100. I don't know if it's the quality of the recording or if I just can't fucking see, but I did not see this guy at all, dude. 
Holy shit. I don't even, bro. I don't even know what the fuck's shooting at us right now. It could be the recording. That dude's basically invisible. And again, Simtex is in this situation too are great. We don't know if he's peeking right or left, so I could throw one Simtex on each side and just fucking figure that out real quick. Now, one tip for the enemy team I'm gonna give right after this match. Ooh, bitch. And there it is. I'm on. 110 SR. All right, so one tip I wanna give the enemy team. Let's go back a little bit. So, remember the guy that was under us, right? He ran under us and he smoked out and he got safe. He was solo. But the crazy thing was when the circle rotated and we were all shooting over here, he should have started planning himself backwards. He should have got over here, played the rock, and then by the time we go to jump off, since we did kind of sort of jump off one at a time, he could have probably wow. beamed us. Oh, he jumps. He could be getting shot at right now by the same guy. I mean, again, TTK in this game, if this, if this guy under us would have already pre-rotated and been playing this rock, he could have easily gotten two of us, maybe even gotten all of us. But he'll never know because, again, he hid in the cave the whole time and then only moved when the gas told him I need to move. 